Platelet transfusion in dengue is a perplexing problem. We often have worried patients and relatives constantly asking us, do we need to give platelets? Platelets in dengue are given only in two situations. Number one, when there, is, there has been a major bleeding episode. And by major bleeding, I mean bleeding from the stomach, bleeding from the intestine, and bleeding inside the brain, which could be potentially dangerous. Minor bleeding like bleeding from the gums, bleeding from the nose, bleeding into the skin does not require platelets. The other situation where platelets are required is when the count is less than 10,000. When the count is less than 10,000, irrespective of whether there has been any sort of bleeding, major or minor, platelets are absolutely indicated. Platelets are available as two components, the single donor platelets as well as the random donor platelets. The advantage of single donor is that it is obtained from one unit of blood and is more efficient in rising the platelets. However, cost can be a constraint. Random donor platelets are obtained from four to five units of blood, but it is not as efficient as the single donor in rising the platelet count. But it is definitely a cheaper and more economical alternative to the single donor platelets. So there is no need to panic whenever the platelet counts are low. With counts of 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, there is no need to give platelets unless there has been a major bleeding. And major bleeding usually happens only when the platelet counts are less than 15,000 or less than 10,000.